guys, what's going on? It's your number one teenage commentator, Silent Skill here, or Christian, whatever you want to call me. And today, I'm going to talk about the time a kid at my school got expelled within like the first week or two of this school year. It was totally crazy, but before I get into that, uh, could I ask for like 350 likes? Uh, we've been smashing every like goal that I've set, so let's aim for 350. And please comment, as I love to read your guys' comments and reply to them and stuff like that. Uh, so all, I, I read every single comment on my video. That's, that's a fact on my videos, except for the ones that are way far back. But the recent ones, I read every single comment. Uh, so don't forget to comment. Anyway, so... This was last year, my freshman year, uh, I was in high school, obviously, and there was this really kind of weird kid in my grade. I think he had come to school at the end of, like, my 8th grade year, and because there's, like, only one option for high schools, he, of course, went to the same high school as me, uh, and so we were both freshmen. He was kind of just, like, a weird dude. Like, I, I, I guess... I, I don't know if I would say out of the norm, but he, he kind of stuck to himself. Uh, he had the really long hair and stuff, and the, like, sort of skater, rebellious, emo-type kid thing. Not that anything's wrong with that. That's just how I would describe him. That's what I would say he is. And because I live in a small sort of community and things like that, <clears throat> I'm it's a bit out of the norm. Not a lot of people dress like that where I'm from. So... Anyway, as I said, I never say names, so I'm not going to say the kid's name, obviously, uh, because that's I, people I know watch my videos, and so it would be kind of rude and wrong to say someone's name, so I'll keep that out. But like I said, it was the first week of school, and if you don't know, on the first week of school for freshmen, uh, for those of you who don't remember or if you're not a freshman yet, it's really kind of about getting yourself settled in, uh, getting yourself a good reputation with the upperclassmen, something I failed at doing, but oh well, and so that's kind of what it was about, so you're trying to set a good example, you're trying to look cool for the freshmen, or the upperclassmen, and you want to just be a chill dude, right, and <laughs> so the, about the second day of school, I want to say, or it might have been third, I don't know, this happened last year, and I hardly remember the story, so bear with me, uh, and he came into school this one day crying and limping to the door, and don't get me wrong, I didn't see a lot of this, but I did hear what happened, and so I was actually going into the school, and I just see this kid limping in there crying, he's like, <gasps> like he wasn't even crying, it was like muffling, and like a, do like a dog just got like his leg stepped on, and like it's going on for a long time, he's like, <laughs> you know, like I can't explain it any better than that, and so... He goes in, and then the principal was at the door greeting people and stuff. It was only like the second or third day, so he's, of course, uh, getting to meet all the new kids and stuff and uh, get the new year kicked in and everything. And so this kid comes in, he's like, what's what's wrong? What's going on? He's like, my, my, my mom wouldn't let me stay home, and I'm hurting, and I had a wreck on my skateboard. I think, I'm pretty sure he had a wreck on his skateboard or something like that. And so my principal was like, all right, come with me. We're going to go to the office. We're going to get it checked out. And so they go to the office, and I see him in there. And there was another kid in there that happened to be one of my good friends. And so he was sitting there, and he sat the one kid next to my friend in the lobby, if that makes sense. So there's a lobby kind of where visitors would sit if they were waiting for, like, the principal or something in the office. And he's like, okay, I'll get you an ice pack. And, uh, so what actually happened is he smelled, I guess, like weed or something. And so the principal was talking to a, the assistant principal, as my friend said, and they were like, okay, they knew something was up. And so they asked the kid to take off his jacket or something and roll up his pant leg. And as he's doing it, a bag of weed literally falls out of his jacket onto the floor and he couldn't snatch it up fast enough and then I guess the principal picked it up and they called the student resource officer because you get this officer that uh, hangs out in your school specifically and so little known fact I guess he got expelled and 
luckily my friend was there to see it all so I have this story to tell you guys but who comes to the first week of school with weed? Like, who even comes to school with weed? I know a lot. I know some kids do it. I know it's a thing. Um, but really, it's just stupid. And, like, why would you do that? I don't know. Especially on the first week. Maybe if you're, like, halfway in and you need to sneak it into school or something. Okay, whatever. But on the first week... Um, that's some pretty risky business, bro. So, anyway, yeah, he got expelled, and that was it for that. And so, I guess, I don't know, has anything like this happened to your, in your school? What's the, what, what would you say is the record for fastest expulsion in your school? Tell me that in the comment section below. Don't forget to smack that like button, and let's get to 350 likes. Super sorry for not making videos recently. That should change. I mean, I always say that, but oh well. Um, so thank you guys so much for being loyal fans. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.